Copyright forbids what technology allows. That's the main problem we face when using digital content, digital culture, music, films, and things that we find on the internet in our own creations. Hi, my name is Olivier Charbonneau, and the goal of this vid video is to show you how to use legally and safely material from the internet in your own creations. We'll talk about three things. Uh, firstly, I'm going to cover some general information about using material, material on the internet that's protected by copyright. Then we'll discuss how to find material that you can use legally in your own creations through online searches. And finally, I'll give you a little bit of advice on how to, how to figure out how to navigate this world. So essentially, copyright forbids. That's the point of copyright. That's how copyright works. And so you can't just go on the internet or actually, you know, pick a book randomly and start or, or a, a, a song or a movie and start using it without worrying about copyright. You always have to worry about copyright. Now, there are two ways around copyright or there are two ways to use copyrighted material legally, easily, quickly. The first one is to is to look for content, music, images, movies that are licensed under open licenses, such as the Creative Commons licenses. These are licenses that allow you to do things with copyrighted content because the people who've created those, uh, those images and those movies are allowing you to through an open license. The second way is to look for material in the public domain. And I'll talk public domain is public domain material is material that used to be or could have been protected by copyright, but because it is old, uh, the copyright has expired. So when we say the word public domain in the copyright sense, it usually means that the copyright has expired. Okay, so let's get into uh, talking about discussing the Creative Commons licenses, uh, and f and and then we'll get into finding uh, finding Creative Commons content. All right. Now I could get into this whole explanation about Creative Commons and what the, how, how it works and what it is and all of that, but I don't need to because somebody's already posted videos about that exact topic on the internet, and so I'm just gonna show you a clip from one of this one one of these videos that I found really interesting. So here's a little clip about what are Creative Commons licenses and how they work. When you share your creativity, you're enabling people anywhere to use it, learn from it, and be inspired by it. Take the teacher who shapes young minds with work and wisdom from around the globe, and the artist who builds beauty out of bits and pieces she finds online, and the writer whose stories use ideas and images crafted by people you've never even met. These people know that when you share your creative wealth, you can accomplish great things. They and millions of other people all around the planet are working together to build a richer, better, more vibrant culture using Creative Commons. To understand Creative Commons, you need to know a little bit about how copyright works. Did you know that when you create something, anything, from a photograph, to a song, to a drawing, to a film, to a story, you automatically own an all rights reserved copyright to that creativity. It's true. Copyright protects your creativity against uses you don't consent to. But sometimes full copyright is too restrictive. What about when you want all those millions and millions of people out there to use your work without the hassle of coming to you for permission? What if you want your work to be freely shared, reused, and built upon by the rest of the world? Luckily, there's an answer. Creative Commons. We provide free copyright licenses you can use to tell people exactly which parts of your copyright you're happy to give to the public. It's easy. It only takes a minute, and it's totally free. Just come to our website and answer a few quick questions, like, will you allow commercial uses of your work? And will you allow your work to be modified? Based on your answers, we'll give you a license that clearly communicates what people can and can't do with your creativity. You don't give up your copyright, you refine it so it works better for you. Welcome to a new world where collaboration rules. It didn't even exist just a few years ago, 
but now there are millions and millions of songs, pictures, videos, and written works available to share, reuse, and remix, all for free. Want to work together? Then join the commons, Creative Commons. Now that we know what Creative Commons is all about, let's go out and find content that is licensed under Creative Commons. Uh, but I'm going to use this option here, which is the Explore option, and I could find Creative Commons related work uh, by clicking right here. Essentially what's going on here is uh, the good people at Creative Commons, uh, the head offices in California actually, uh, give you access to some of the major websites that uh, provide access to Creative Commons material. So let's say you're looking for images, I could click here on the Flickr option and I could search for uh, automobiles. Let's say I'm looking for cars, you know, and so if I hit here uh, the search, I will get pictures of automobiles and I use automobiles because you know car would probably be more recent and so all of these are available under Creative Commons license and oh look this is an ad so I don't know if this one is but in any case you get the idea point here is that you could use uh, the Creative Commons uh, meta search page to find material under uh, Creative Commons licenses. So that's one way. So you can see here you have some of the big websites that we know about Flickr. I mentioned YouTube for videos because you can now have content on your YouTube channel that is under Creative Commons. And actually, all my videos that I have on my YouTube channel are under a Creative Commons attribution license because, you know, I'm a public servant and I get sal a salary from Concordia University in Montreal. And that's good enough for me. I don't need to get royalties from my videos on YouTube. Well, I probably wouldn't, but anyways. Uh, Jamendo for music. Euro Europeana is, uh, is actually a consortium of uh, libraries and archives in Europe, and they have tons of great stuff uh, in uh, public domain and in Creative Commons. So anyways, point here is that you have a really interesting little interface to look for uh, content. Let me give you another example. Um, I like, you could use Google for this, and I love this little image here. Today's the first day of summer, uh, so I hope it's not too cold when you watch uh, this video where you're at and when you're at, but anyways. So let's say I'm looking for a, a historic map of Montreal, right? So, of course, I could just do a straight Google search, uh, but one thing that I'll, that I'll do is I'll switch it to images, right? So I'll go to Google and I'll search for images, and I have here historic map Montreal, and I'm going to hit search. Right now, I get historic maps of Montreal here, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but I don't know if I'm allowed to reuse these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little options button here that appears only when you have search results. So I'm going to click here on options, and I'm going to do an advanced search. Did you know you could do an advanced search in Google? Well, anyways, now you know. And I'm going to go here, and I could tell Google under usage rights that I only want material that is free to share or use. And you can see that you actually have a few options, right? So I can have it even e economically, so I can make money off somebody else's content or somebody's providing content that I can use uh, for profit, for my own profit, I can modify, and so on, right? So I'm just going to use the most basic one because I actually just want to find a map of Montreal and I'm an educator so uh, I just want somebody that's giving me access to content that I can use for free, uh, non-profit, that's good enough for my personal um, use. Now look at these uh, images. One thing I'm going to mention is you know, anybody could snap a picture of the, you know, of the subway map of Montreal, of the metro that you find in a metro station and place it on their Flickr under Creative Commons. That doesn't mean that it's fully under Creative Commons. You have to be careful because anybody can post content under a Creative Commons license, but you have to make sure that they own the copyright. In this case, La Société de Transport de Montréal, the STM, owns copyright to the maps that they provide access to. So I can't just go around clicking an image of uh, on my cell phone of the map of Montreal and putting that on Creative Commons. I'm actually setting a copyright trap. So even when you find something that says it's under Creative Commons, make sure that the people who've posted it online are the authentic source for it. That is to say that they own sufficient copyrights to provide access to it under Creative Commons, right? 
So uh, let's see here. I really like this one. Uh, and uh, this is from a website called David Ramsey Map Collection, right? And I see here that they do have a Creative Commons license. And uh, I'm probably, I would probably want to read the about page and who they are and view the collection to figure out what's going on on this uh, on this website to see who they are. So looking for uh, so, so looking for content like images uh, straight from Google or just searching, just doing a, a general search in Google, uh, and you can always filter the results through the advanced search with uh, with by using here this use rates option and getting content that you could use uh, for free, right? So, but again, whenever you get content from any website, make sure that they're the authentic source and they have sufficient rights or, or, or authority to give you the rights, like they own the copyright. Okay. So that's Google. That's the Google advanced search where you could use, uh, the, uh, filter for image rights, uh, for usage rights. Sorry. Um, then you can get into really uh, interesting, really specific websites that are like archives of public domain material. Uh, I'll give you an example. You must know Project Gutenberg, uh, which is a really interesting project to provide free access to books in the public domain. So books that where the copyright has expired, they provide you the text. And actually, if you have, uh, if you ever want to read something for free, all the classics are here. Most of them actually. So uh, you know your classics from the 19th century and before and even early 20th century. You got uh, some great stuff on here so you could load up your uh, tablet, uh, smartphone or, 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 or laptop with more text that you could ever read, right? Uh, and multiple languages as well, right? Uh, another really cool website that you may want to check out uh, is the Internet Archive where they have tons of material uh, that is either under open licensing or uh, under straight public domain. So let me look for Superman and uh, no library uh, or copyright video would be complete without an appearance of uh, the masked crusader. Uh, or, or, or is that Batman? Yeah, I think that's Batman. Anyways, so let's go to uh, under video here, animation and cartoon, and I'm gonna type Superman as the uh, search term. And uh, look, at that, look at that, 19. 40s animation. Let me click on that. And what I'm looking for here is this no rights reserved, right? So this is actually telling me that I could just go ahead and uh, grab this. And this this uh, video of Superman is in the uh, public domain, right? Look at that evil scientist and all and mad robots. You got it all here. So I could totally use this in my, where is he? Come on, Superman. There he is fighting the uh, evil death ray from mad scientist, whoever. So here you see you have uh, different ver versions and look at that, like a full half gig for, uh, for this. And you know, you could, you could take this file and, and just use the audio portion. You could uh, use parts, you could use clips. Uh, the uh, Internet Archive is making 1 million public domain f domain files available and that's mu mu movies and music and texts available under BitTorrent. So that's just telling you the extent of the collection that you can get from uh, from uh, the Internet Archive. Uh, so that's just a, one, a great, one great spot to find all sorts of really cool uh, content uh, for your uh, creations, either in the public domain or straight under uh, open licensing. Now, when you're using um, content under Creative Commons or public domain, I talked about um, you know always making sure you're getting it from the authentic source, the people who are the, um, the real owners or the real uh, creators, or if it's in the public domain, that it's a legitimate claim. Um, I have to say, always read the fine print of a website where you get content from. Always go down to the very bottom and look for the terms you use. So you have to you have to look here under the terms of use uh, and terms and uh, terms of use and policies. Usually, you find it at the bottom of the page, and they're not always like hard to read. Some of them are are very simple. So this is the European at terms and policies. Uh, so here. Uh, you have some uh, some different guidelines that you could check out. 
Uh, and please read these things because you know if you're especially if you're engaged if you're engaging more and more as a professional creator or professional artist, you want to make sure you respect the rules. And this this is the website telling you what they expect the rules to be. Whether or not you agree with them is a whole different story. But hopefully there's going to be an intersection between your needs and what the terms of use are, and then you could operate your use without worrying about infringing copyright. So another a big piece of advice always read the fine print always go to the website at the very bottom and try to find the terms of use and respect those a lot of companies and a lot of of other institutions and museums and archives claim a new copyright on a digitized on something that's digitized from a public domain i'm not going to get into the debate of whether or not that's legal in canada that's a very interesting legal question what you have to deal with as the user of material digital material uh, is that if you feel something is in the public domain, but the source or the, the website or the, the person giving you access to the file is claiming ownership of it, claiming copyright, you're stuck respecting that. That sucks, right? But there are companies that are notorious about uh, refreshing the copyright claim on some of their material when really it should be in the public domain. So what do we do? Well, you know, you could fight this fight, but because this is for uh, the context of uh, if, if, if this is for the context of a class or publishing or reusing, if you could find something that's under Creative Commons or just a, with a straight public domain claim, then you're uh, set. So if you could find content that works for for your your needs, that's in Creative Commons and public domain. Fine, that's like awesome. That's the best thing that you could do. So if you can't, well, that's where we get into a, a bit of a, a bit of a pickle because we have to figure out what to do. So hopefully you'll be able to find material that suits your needs. That's either under Creative Commons or uh, under free licensing. Uh, or in the public domain and we don't have to get into a whole copyright debate and or a copyright uh, argument. See, I would I would hate to have to go under that that route actually. So just so you know, uh, the responsibility uh, falls on your shoulders. All right. So anyways, uh, despite those little pieces of warning, uh, there's lots of and lots of great content out there under Creative Commons and even more in the public domain that is uh, getting easier and easier to use. So hopefully you'll be able to get your hands on some interesting stuff that you could post and use and remix into your own creation and use uh, to further our cultural endeavor in this wonderful internet world, digital world of ours. Uh, and I bid you some awesome times finding and remixing all this great content. All right, have a great day.